Hey guys, this is video 4 out of 4 for my MASH reviews, and this is kind of just like random 2.0 and companion novels and then devotionals and cute little stories, and then I have one actual book book, and then one is just kind of like a thought-provoking book. Um, the four that I'm going to kind of go over first, they kind of remind me all of the same thing because they're all about animals. These three were just collections of 91 stories about cute little things that animals do that prove that they're smart and that they're heroic and that they're sassy. And I really like these. If they're on Goodreads, I think I'm going to rate them all at least three out of five stars, if not four. The next one that kind of goes along in the stack is Purbles from Heaven Devotionals for Cat Lovers. This book I liked. It was kind of cute. I It was kind of confusing though with like there was all these different authors and then I thought so and so was with so and so and I was just kind of like oh okay this is getting confusing. So after a while I kind of got sick of it but it was a nice little quick read and I did enjoy it. The next two are my two companion novels by Cassandra Clare and Lois Grishin and all these other amazing authors that took part in this book. Um, this one I did like. It brought up a lot of good points that I've never even really thought about before. And I think that I will rate this 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. This next one, Shadowhunters and Downworlders, I really liked even more, I think, because it had opinions of a bunch of different people rather than just one person. And they were all very interesting and also brought up some points that I didn't think about but they also brought up some points in this book that I did think about and I wasn't sure if anybody else noticed but they did so that was kind of cool too the next book that I read was Hoot I was utterly amazed at how close this book was to the movie whoever made this movie compared to the book I applaud you with standing ovation because it was so close and it was so good and I was really enjoying reading it so, I will probably rate this book 5 out of 5 stars, even though it is a younger read for me. The next one is Growing Wings by Laurel, Laurel Winter. This book, I think I rated 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but it wasn't that it was a bad book. It just picked up really quick, and there wasn't really much character building or plot twists, and I don't know. It would just kind of seem to go by really, really quickly, a little bit too quickly for my comfort. But that's okay. I still rated it 3 out of 5 stars. It was not bad at all. The last one that I read is More Than a Carpenter by Josh McDowan and Sean McDowan. This book was very thought-provoking for me, and I don't really understand how it could convince people to be crit. Christians because supposedly it does a lot it, it does that a lot and there's over 15 million copies in print which is a lot of copies but anyways so it was interesting and I think I will rate it four out of five stars on Goodreads um that is all of the mass review sections I have for you guys I don't have the graphic novels by me I went and I put them back on my shelf but I did like those a lot and if I can put them on Goodreads, those both will probably be 5 out of 5 stars. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!